Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution for question 9 on the May-June 2023 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. It is Geometry and Trigonometry. And we begin with the circle theorem part of the question that says LM and R are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. PQ is a tangent to the circle at R and angle PRL is 48 degrees. And angle RON, RON here is 156 degrees. So first we're asked to find angle R. Now you'll notice that angle R here is on the circumference and angle NOR is at the center. And what we know is that the angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. And so by that we can easily calculate R here by saying angle R is equal to 156 divided by 2 which gives us 78 degrees. So that is our reasoning. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So we can write in our 78 degrees there. Let's move on to the next part. We want to find angle E. Now notice that um, I'm going to just brighten this a little bit so you can see it a little easily. Because we have a tangent here, we can talk about the angle drawn between the tangent and the chord. So here's our line and here is our angle drawn on that line. This is a chord. And so what we what we realize is that this angle here, E, is the same size as the angle here. So the angle drawn between the tangent and the chord is equal to the drawn, angle drawn in the alternate segment and that is this angle. So what we know from that is that R is equal to E. And remember we just calculated R. R is 78 degrees and so E is going to be equal to 78 degrees by that the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle drawn in the alternate segment. So that's our reasoning there. We move on to the next part. So this is 78. We can just write it in. Um, so we have 78 here. We have 78 there for that angle E. Um, we want to calculate angle A. Angle A is related to this angle here. Let me mark it. Now, you may not see it immediately yet, but let me show you something very, very quickly. So here we have what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. And the idea behind the cyclic quadrilateral is that opposite angles are supplementary, meaning that opposite angles add to 180 degrees, which means that this angle here, angle A, plus this angle here, add to give us 180 degrees. And so what we need to do then is to find this angle. So we can write it down. NML plus NRL is equal to 180 degrees. That's what we mean by, supp by supplementary. All right. So we can find this angle here because we have a straight angle PRQ here and we have these two sides of it, 78 and 42, so we can say, okay then, the angle that we need here, NRL, is equal to 180 minus um, 78 plus 46, 48, 78 plus 48 here. Uh, let me just erase that and write it better. 78 plus 48. So here we have 6. And then we have add 1 there. So that gives us a 5. So we have 126. So NRL is 126. And so 180 minus 126 gives us 4. And 2 from 7 is 5. So it gives us 
50, 54 degrees. Which means now that since these two are supplementary, <laughs> it turns out that in our um, the angle that we need, angle A is going to be equal to 180 minus 54, which turns out back because it cycles around to be 126 degrees. There are other ways to find it, but um, this is one easy way to look at it by just using the, the cyclic quadrilateral. We can move on to the other part of the question that is dealing with a diagram showing a triangular field LMP on horizontal ground. And um, we're asked to calculate the value of angle MLP. MLP, so we want this angle here. That's the angle we want. So to find that angle, um, we can make use of the cosine rule. The cosine rule allows us to calculate an angle if we are given the three sides of the triangle. So this is the cosine rule written out and we can modify that cosine rule to calculate the angle directly by writing it as the cost of the angle is c squared minus a squared minus b squared over minus 2ab. So since we want to find this angle, then this is our c and the other two sides are a and b. So we're going to write it as cos of the angle is equal to c square minus a square minus b square over minus 2ab substituting the values we have that the cos of the angle is 180 square minus 150 square minus 120 square all of that over minus 2 times 120 times 150 and punching that into your calculator leads to a simple value of um, cos of the angle is minus 4500 divided by minus 36 thousand which simplifies down to 1.8 or 0 0.125 so we can therefore say the angle is equal to the cos inverse of 1 over 8 and of course remember when you're doing these things to keep your calculator in degree mode otherwise you're going to get a probably get a gradient or, or a radian answer and you do not want that and so doing this calculation here results in our answer being 82 point eight degrees and so this angle here is eighty two point eight degrees let's go on to the next part of the question remember this is eighty two point eight degrees now we are told that the bearing of P from L here is P here is L this is a north line and we measure bearings from north lines so the angle of P measured from L is 210 degrees, which is telling us that this angle here, the angle of P, the bearing of P measured from L is 210. So this is 210 degrees. Now, as you can see, the 210 degrees includes this 82.8. And so we can find the bearing of M measured from L by subtracting so we have 210 minus 82.8 degrees and let's do that subtraction there or you can just type it in your calculator and that gives us 127 point two degrees all right so this is the bearing of m measured from l the entire bearing here is 210 so to find this section here all we have to do is subtract from 210 this part and we end up with the bearing of m measured from l which is 127.2 degrees all right let me just write that there 
127.2 degrees. Continuing with our question, again I'm going to write back the 82.8 here. And we want to calculate now the value of angle NLP. NLP. Now remember, we just wrote down the bearing that was here. The bearing of P measured from L and the bearing of P measured from L was 210 degrees. Now you will appreciate that this right here is a circle and circles measure um, 360 degrees. So to find this angle and NLP we can subtract 210 because this would create a complete circle here. One from 60 leaves 5 and two from three leaves one. So there we have 150 degrees for this section. So we want to find um, the bearing of L, the bearing of L measured from P, which means we need a north line. Every time we're going to do a bearing, you need to have a north line. So let's set up a north line here. And um, Let's put the north on it. And one thing that we know for sure is that north lines are parallel to each other, which creates a nice little situation here. Um, so you may remember alternate angles from angles between parallel lines and alternate angles or angles that alternate are equal to each other. That's the same situation here. Since these two lines are parallel, this is a north line, that is a north line, they're parallel to each other, then we find, let me just do one very quick, quick for you to see. So here, so these angles are, are equal to each other. And on the other side of that, these angles, A and B here, they are what we call cointier angles and they are supplementary. That is when you add these two, you get 180 degrees. So it's the same thing here. When we add this angle and this angle, we end up with 180 degrees. And as it is, the bearing of L measured from P is this angle right here. So all we need to do right here, since these two are supplementary, we, are, we just have to say 180 minus 150. And that gives us our answer of 30 degrees. And we're almost done. I say almost done because bearings by rule are written with three digits. So if you're going to write the bearing, we cannot just write 30 degrees. We must write 0, 3, 0 degrees. And so the bearing of L measured from P is 0, 3, 0 degrees. That brings us to the end of our question. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful and you like trigonometry or you know somebody who is struggling with trigonometry and want help, wants help, please you can refer them to this video. Maybe it will give them some more clarity and maybe they just want to see the solution of the question. Either way, thank you for watching and as you study, I hope you continue to learn and grow and best wishes as you keep moving forward.